Quiet here today. It's time. Hello, Mrs. Dees. I missed you at school yesterday. Hi, Allie. Hello, Mrs. Mayberry. Hi, Silas and the May Babies. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's get a piece of paper. How are you guys all doing? It's Tuesday. Right? Tuesday, yeah. Hmm. I've lost all track of time. Yeah. So normally I'm Let's see who would be in my room right now. Um second graders I think would be in my room. So hope you guys are all good. Oh, it drives me crazy. I'm not supposed to touch my face, so I don't know. It's mm, crazy, crazy. Hi, Graham. Hi, Mrs. Tellerico. I know we posted on that our group that today was crazy hair day. I should have taken a picture. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Mrs. Nelson. Um, I should have taken a picture of what I look like when I got out of bed because, wow, that's some crazy hair there. So... But I don't really want anyone to see me that way. So, we'll wait for a few more people. Hi, Mrs. Hespy. Hi, Meyer. Hi, Molly. Hi to James, too, even though I know he's not watching. And Sailor. So. <clears throat> I feel like I my voice is almost normal. Like, it's, like, pretty good course who knows what it'll be like after today so we'll wait for a few more people <clears throat> it's beautiful today though so afterwards I hope everyone gets outside to play although I think I saw a wasp today so I was like kind of freaked out because we had been just keeping our door open so the dogs could run in and out and I saw what I'm pretty sure was a wasp, and I don't want that thing in my house. So, um, hi, Michael. Hi, Joey. Hi, Declan. So, no wasps allowed. <clears throat> Let's see. Hmm. I really should, like, get rid of that. There. Maybe I'll look right there now. Um, so when I do live, I have this other setup. I have this other app that I'm using that my son got for me that does both of the, my cameras better. And so it shows me there and, um, I keep wanting to look to see what I'm doing, but then I don't look at the camera. So then I feel like I'm not looking at you cause I'm always looking down there. Um, I don't know why that is. I don't know. Vanity, I guess. Hello, Mrs. Smith. <coughs> Perhaps vanity. Maybe I just want to see that light. I'm trying to figure out that light. So it's got light here, but not on, not on my face. I mean, I'm pale enough. I, you know, that's what happens in the, this winter when you're inside all the time. But you don't um, get very much sun. <clears throat> but it's nice out today. So today we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna find out what dinosaurs do. And we're going to draw our own little dinosaur today. Um, so I'm kind of excited. I remember to... Um, hold on. I need to tell my son something. He's mailing something. Marcus. What? You should put some insurance on that. Yeah, I was. Okay. He's mailing something to a friend. And um, I told him he needs, needs to make sure he puts some... Hi, Mrs. Pryor. Hi, Andy and Hunter and um, Sawyer. Um, I don't know. I don't know that you, we could even Google it, you know, whether or not, um, dinosaurs have eyelashes. 
Because that's your thing now, Mrs. Pryor. The whole eyelash business. So. Um, okay. <laughs> Maybe one more minute. Because I know there were some other people who had said that they were coming. So we'll give them a chance to come. Um, so they don't miss the beginning of the story. Which is pretty short. Um, oops. I hit the wrong thing. Darn it. Um. <clears throat> Hi, Mrs. King. Hi, Evan and Jordan and Mackenzie. Uh, see, I was, I feel like I'm really well right now, but now since I've been outside more because it's been nice, I have, um, Marcus, you need to mark off those labels on the other side. Okay, you need to tape that better. I have it. Oh, sorry, I'm, mm, nitpicking. I'm nitpicking him as packaging thing. What do you need? A bigger sharpie. A bigger marker. Um. Thanks. Yep. Sorry. It's all right. Things happen. <coughs> so, um. Okay. Well, I think we'll just go ahead and get started. So, cause I, I don't even have any like interesting things to talk about before our thing today. So, um, I think I mentioned I don't know the other day, and I told the kids too, is um. My son was way into dinosaurs when he was little, and um, I don't know. What was your favorite dinosaur, Marcus? Velociraptor. Velociraptor, um, which wasn't even a dinosaur. Like, it wasn't even around when um, I was little. We didn't even know about that one. Um, and that's that weird one from the movie. I don't even, whatever. Um, so I like peaceful dinosaurs. So I like the Brontosaurus, and I like, okay, I, I like the pterodactyl, the flying dinosaur. That's pretty cool. That's not peaceful. I know he's not peaceful. He's a, a meat eater too. And there's one dinosaur that lives in the ocean. Hi, Mr. Obing. Are you gonna draw a dinosaur with us today? Um, I don't remember the name of the one. It's like a, it's he's like a sea monster like thing. It was it's pretty cool. Um, I know there's one that looks like a shark and. Megalodon. Megalodon. Once again, not a dinosaur that I grew up with. So I, I don't really understand the whole, like, how that works. So um, at some point, obviously, we'll get to hang out with, with Jesus. And we can ma maybe that's my question is, what's the deal with all the dinosaurs? Like, I don't know. Um, it's just, it's not really my thing. It's really interesting. I like it. But I, <clears throat> I was glad when my son outgrew the dinosaur thing. So, anyway, um, now he wants scissors. I'm demanding today. I'm sorry. That's all right. Um, it's because I got, like, my whole thing set up here. So, um, anyway, um, <clears throat> this is a fun story um, by the same author as um, The Good Egg and The Bad Seed. And, oh, there was a third one I read to the third graders. And, oh, I can't think of the name. Um, I don't remember. Um, there was another one, anyway. And so, um, he's super funny. Um, this is illustrated by Pete Oswald. And um, I didn't see... I always take the covers off because they get in my way when I'm reading. And there's usually a little blurb about the authors, and I, I, did, I forgot to read that. So, anyway, this is our fun story um, about dinosaurs. Um, and it's called That's What Dinosaurs Do. Okay? So, no dinosaurs in there. I'm going to... I found a new box of markers in one of my drawers, which was kind of cool. <clears throat> there they are. He's on a swing. You can tell that he's heavy. Look, it's all like um, curved down. So I'm the cute little girls. All right. That's. Oh, and I. It, oh, it tells you how what kind of what, how they did the. It says the artist used scanned watercolor textures and digital paint to create the illustrations for the book. Oh, that's cool. Now i got to go back and look at other books and see if it says that. That's neat. All right. Here we go. So, there's some people waiting for a bus, it looks like. Oh, it looks like he's got a ball that dog really wants. And then all of a sudden, there's eyes in there. And obviously, then the dinosaur is going to go, Roar! It scares everybody. And then he's going to roar! Scare everybody there. And Roar! He's on a tractor and scaring the sheep. He also has a hat on. It's important if you're going to be on a tractor to, you know, wear something on your head so that you don't 
<clears throat> um, don't get too much sun. So William, that's the name of our dinosaur, William. William had a really great weekend. But now his throat hurt from way too much roaring. I can totally feel it. Look, he's got dinosaurs on his, his blankets. So William went to the doctor. And it looks like he's got some stuff in his throat that don't belong. There's a bicycle and a fishing rod and a soccer ball. And the doctor said, no more roaring for a week. And I mean it. Roar, asked William. Exactly, said the doctor. Don't do that. But how can I not roar, thought William. That's, that's what dancers do. William was sad. He was down, distraught, depressed, drained, roaring. Roaring was his life. Now what? Well, he did want to get better. So William completely stopped roaring. And it was not easy. He, like, taped his mouth closed. Which would make it hard to eat, too, I think. There were just so many great opportunities to roar. He's at a taco truck. Miss Lowen would like this, right? Because she loves tacos. Sigh. But all the people were happy, weren't they? Because he didn't roar at them. So he went to play ball. And he didn't roar. And he's... Sigh. Sad. And he went to the farm. And he really wanted to roar at the pigs and the donkeys and the horses. But he couldn't. But you know what? They're all really happy. They have... Look, they're smiling. As embarrassing as it was, poor William decided that he must live a life of silence. And he sat in his chair, and he stared at the wall, and he drank cup after cup of chamomile tea with honey. Because everybody knows that tea with honey is good for your throat, right? And he said, not roaring is so boring. That's what William was thinking. It looks like he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cups. And he's using a, like a bendy straw, which are my favorite kinds of straws. It's no fun when a dinosaur loses his roar, even for a week. On Tuesday, William moped around his garden. On Wednesday, William remained inside his house. He's got a cute little bun bungalow, though. On Thursday, William stayed under the covers all day. On Friday, William could barely stand it. He had to roar again. Hi, Dylan. So William went back to the doctor. He's got some very sharp teeth there. <clears throat> and the doctor said, it looks a little better, said the doctor. Still not great, though, William. Roar, asked William. You may roar, said the doctor, but if you roar too much, your throat will surely hurt again. Outside the doctor's office, William spotted the mailman, who smiled and waved in at William. And William waved back. And then, and then he felt something bubbling up inside of him. William knew that he shouldn't roar at the mailman. But he did it anyway with a big old roar. Because that's what dinosaurs do, right? William spotted some kids at the playground. And they were having a lot of fun. And William, he liked fun too. So he joined them on the, slot, on the swings and on the slide and while he played William knew he knew that he shouldn't roar at the kids but then he felt a new roar bubbling up <clears throat> until he just couldn't help himself roar because that's what dinosaurs do 
scared them all, didn't he? So William spotted some people waiting for the bus, and he waited. Fact. Dinosaurs don't like waiting. And he waited. Fact. They like roaring. So, roar! Again, he roared. Yes, that's what dinosaurs do. Look, he scared everybody. <coughs> William rode the bus all the way home. Look, he's like outside the window like a dog. At his stop, the driver said, Have a nice weekend, William. And William turned, and he smiled his nicest, toothiest smile. And then he roared in the driver's face. Roar! Jeez, what was that for? asked the driver. And there was really only one answer to give. That's what dinosaurs do. William had another great weekend. He roared, roared, roared. And he roared, roared, roared some more. And then he roared at a squirrel. And so then the townspeople gathered in front of William's house. And they, they demanded an apology. Even his doctor was there. And it says, no more sore throats. And then it's got an X through roaring. It says quiet. But you know what? William wasn't sorry for roaring. Not one bit. And you want to know why? I bet you already know why. Hi, Mrs. Carter. Because that's what dinosaurs do. They roar, don't they? At least we imagine they roar since, you know, none of us have been around to see dinosaurs. So, that's my story. This is my new box of markers I found in a box. It's kind of cool. I'm going to try those today. So, that is our story. And this is what we're going to draw. And our dinosaur doesn't really look like um, the one that... Um, <coughs> Hi, Mrs. McDonald. Hi, Katie. Hi, Meredith. Um, so, this is my, our dinosaur we're going to draw. And um, uh, Meredith, I'm sure you're watching. Your dinosaur would look really good as a rainbow dinosaur, I'm just going to say. I'm going to make mine more colorful this time, just for fun. So this is what we're going to draw today. <clears throat> so you need to get a piece of paper, and your paper needs to go the tall way, all right, which is the called, um, or it's called vertical, sorry. Right there. there. There, that's better. Um, all right, and I sharpened my pencil before <clears throat> we started. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start down here with his little mouth, all right, and we're going to make a great big, it almost like, looks like if I turn it this way, it's like a backwards J, kind of. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to start in the middle because dinosaurs are big, right? So this dinosaur is going to take up our whole piece of paper. All right, so I'm going to start here in the center, and um, I'm going to kind of do it this way, and I'm going to go over here. Now, I want to save some room because I want to put all of this. I probably should have moved it over some more, but what's done is done. I'm not going to change it, and that's okay. I'm just going to make it into something else. So that's <coughs> we'll start with, and see if I turn it this way. It looks like a backwards J or kind of a U with a big, big thing on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down. All right. And then I am going to actually make a J right here. Oh, once again, it's a backwards J. Because I wasn't thinking. Or it looks like maybe a candy cane. Or maybe it looks like, um, hi, Mr. Kumar. Hi, Evan and um, Arv and Amon. Um, so it looks kind of like a fish hook or a candy cane. And then, obviously, his tail, I made it too close to the side there. So it kind of goes off the page, and that's okay. So I've kind of got that like that. And I really haven't left room for his feet. So he's going to have little tiny feet, which is okay. Because I didn't do my spacing thing very well there. And then I have a little lamp there for his feet. Yours might be bigger. My dinosaur is, like, really tall, and he's got mini feet. So, all right. Now I'm going to come up here by his mouth, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to make another backwards J that meets right there. He's got a big belly. 
and I'm going to put a little foot there. So tiny little feet. He's obviously a cartoon, right? I don't know. That doesn't. Anyway, it'll look like a dentist or soon. And then I'm going to give him, to match his tiny little feet, I'm going to give him a tiny little arm right there. There's like something on my screen, and it looks like, there we go. Okay. That's super funny. All right. And then I'm going to give him some spikes on his tail to protect himself. All right. Now, I decided that, you know, my dinosaur here doesn't have any teeth. But I decided I'm going to give this one some teeth. So I'm going to draw some little teeth right there just to make him funny. And I'm going to give him a great big eye right here in the middle. And your eye can be however you want. Now, we know that dinosaurs are extinct, but it's still I don't want you to give him eyes, all right, because we don't want him to be dead. We want him to be fun and alive. And then I'm going to give him a little eyebrow there. Or it's kind of a big eyebrow. And a nostril so he can breathe. All right. <coughs> all right. So... I'm going to draw some, um, these remind me of Stegosaurus. I don't have a picture of a Stegosaurus. Oh, you know what? There's one on his sheets I saw on his bed. Let's see, where is he in his bed? Um, so right here, you really can't see it very well. So there's like a Stegosaurus. You can't tell very well. Anyway, they have those, they have those scales, like armored plates on their back. <clears throat> so I'm going to draw those. I um, mean, yours can look however you want. If you wanted to do like half circle ones or triangle ones, but this is how I'm going to draw mine. So I'm going to draw two lines. They go up like this at an angle. And then I'm going to draw two lines that go like that. And then I'm going to draw the biggest ones here at the top of his head. That one doesn't look as good as the first one. And then they're going to get smaller as they go down. Okay, the first one was the best. So I did it the way I said. and Alright, and then they're just going to get bigger. Or they're going to get smaller as they go down. And then one last one right there. He's got lots today. <laughs> that doesn't look anything like my other dinosaur, does it? This one's super cute. This one, I don't know. He looks kind of kind of goofy. He's got that big belly. He's eat, been eating too much. I'm going to give some little, like, so they have, like, little toenails there. I don't know that they have toenails. So, maybe, I don't know... I don't ever show. I was thinking maybe I could like do like the little. You guys don't have to do this. I didn't do this on my other one, but I'm gonna give it so that he can be two colors. I'm gonna give it so that he has like a little belly color on the back on the bottom. <clears throat> okay, so there is my dinosaur. All right, still that light. It's, I guess. So I need to get my sharpie, which I didn't get out. Let me check it. Okay. And I'm going to trace him with Sharpie. Okay, let's see. I'm having a hard time thinking of what to talk about while I'm doing this. I almost want to draw a little tongue hanging out of there, too, because that would be funny. Oops, I messed up there. So. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so, and then what I did, and I didn't do this before I started tracing, I just wanted it to look like he was on some ground, so I just drew my horizon line over here, which, remember, separates the sky from the, um, from the ground. And then, way back in the distance, I thought about this later, I'm going to draw a volcano. Draw a volcano. I'm going to have some... Like stuff. I don't know what that actually looks like where it's bubbling up. I don't like I'm gonna erase. I don't like that big ball thing there. There. Alright, I'm just gonna do that. And so I'm gonna trace that with the Sharpie too. I just feel like we should have a volcano there. There. I'm going to go and erase all my pencil lines. Always be careful if you're doing that so that you don't rip your paper. I did that when I was practicing the other day. And I couldn't tape it, so. There we go. Oops. And I think I'm going to have it be nighttime. So I'm going to draw like a moon up here. And I don't know what does the moon look like. Um, I don't know. I'll just draw some like craters on there. I don't know that that looks like a moon until I color it. And then I can draw some stars. <clears throat> um... Gosh, I can't draw a star without, let's see. So I don't really, can only, I'm never going to draw stars. So when I draw a star, I always do this. And then I trace the outside. And then I erase the middle. So you can't see my star. So I'm going to draw some stars like that. Big stars. So I'm just going to draw, four, I'm going to draw one over here too. And then I'll trace those. I seem to always do daytime. And so I thought, oh, well, I'll make this one nighttime. Okay, those are still a little wonky, the stars are, but that is okay. They don't even, I mean, we've just kind of made that up. That's not really what stars look like. So they're just really big balls of gas. All right, there we go. So I'm going to use my new markers today because I forgot I had these. They're all, it's even all dusty. Ugh, gross. Because I just really like using markers these days. Um, let's see. I don't know what color I should make my dinosaur. Um, my other one's green. Let's see. You can't see the colors here. They're all upside down. Oh, oh, blue. I think I'm make a blue dinosaur. So these are cool markers. This is by. Windsor Newton, um, and they have like a fine, oops, uh, they have a big tip and then they have a, a little tip. So I think I'm going to make my dinosaur blue. Alright. Oh, that's a nice color. That's like cougar blue, right, for school. I can't wait to see what everybody else is. So... Remember, it's always a good idea to color the same direction. And really, the main reason why you should probably get into the habit of doing this is if you really like art, you're going to end up buying fancy markers at some point. Um, and with these fancy markers, you really, really need to um, color all the same direction because they make lines and it just looks better. So see how I'm going all the way down the length of my, my dinosaur. Let's see. 
I think I'll give him purple spikes too. I know at least one person will have a rainbow dinosaur, which is awesome. Something, oh, it's erasers. So I'm going to give mine purple, like toes and. Purple spikes. Everyone's quiet today. They must be busy drawing. <clears throat> and I got in there, but you know, I'm going to color it with markers over it, so. So I might even give him like black eyebrows so then I'll really cover that out of the lines I got. Because everybody gets out of the line sometimes. <clears throat> and it's okay. done with the blue. Oh, I was going to, I think it's National Crayon Day today. I was going to use crayons. Bummer. Oh, well. I'll use crayons in the background, I think, for the sky. And then I'm going to use black for the, for his, oops, that's, I'm going to use the, the other side. I'm going to give him a black eyeball and do the black eyebrow there. I can touch that up a little bit. There we go. That's not as black as my Sharpie. That's weird. All right. Let's see, and then I said purple, right? Let's see. These, it's hard to get these out of the box. It's green. Oh, there's another black. It's probably blacker. Um, I'll use this purple. Oh, I missed a spot. That was dumb. I wasn't paying attention. I was... I'm going to do this purple down here. Whew. These are really strong markers, though, to kind of move my head away. I have a darker purple I'm going to use for his, for his, um, for his spikes or plates or whatever you call them. It's kind of hard to do the same direction in these little these little, these little things here. Oh, everyone's really quiet today. Is anybody here? Oh yeah, there's people watching.
Okay, and then I'm going to color his toes this color too. Okay. I'm going to leave his teeth. Um, I missed a spot right there. His teeth white. Because he brushes his teeth, which is important, right? Oh, I have a white marker? Oh, it's gray. I was like, what? Oh my goodness, I can't get these out. I was looking for... See if I had another purple. It's hard to get these out of here. They really play. The design of these is awful. Oh, that doesn't help. Oh, oh there's all the greens. I don't even need green. I guess I need gray for my moon. So this is ice gray. So I'm going to color the spots on here ice gray. And I'll color my moon a different color. A different color gray. Hi, Mrs. Libby. Brenna. Oh, and I can't remember your other daughter's name. Megan. Hello to Megan. Okay, and I'm sure I'll come up with another gray here as I go through all these. Oops. Cool gray. Ugh. This is awful. If I hadn't found these just, I mean, like, literally, like, one minute before I went live, I would have already turned these around. Okay, I don't think I have any more purples, so I'm going to have to choose a different color for his spikes. And I... I think they're going to be pink. Because I don't want... Oh, I need this color, though. And I need brown for my... My... Volcano. A lot of grays. Yeah. Warm gray. I want this... I think this color gray. Ice... Oh, I did that one already. This gray. Cool gray for my moon. So this should be... Yeah. Lighter. I don't think I like these as well as my other ones that I have. There, yeah, that's my moon. And then I'm going to color my stars like bright yellow. Then I'm going to color my mountain, or my volcano, rather. I'm going to color it brown. And then lava. Lava's red, right? Uh, let's see. There we go. This is crimson. Do I have red? Red? Magenta. Oh, that's what color I'll make is... These are going to be magenta. And it like spit. Made a bunch of little marks on it. Give it magenta. So is this red? Poppy. Okay, I don't know what the difference is. I don't know what happened to my scratch paper. I put something out of my trash here. Let's see. Oh. Hmm. I like both of those. One is brighter than the other. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to color it this lighter color. And then I'll go in and add some dark highlights to it. We'll see how that looks. I'm just going to add, like, oh, you can't really see it. 
Mm. There. All right, and then for my ground, let's see, what does this one go? Uh, I'm going to do the ground like brown. I'm going to draw some dark, some dark like little lines. So it kind of looks like he's. Just some little lines. Make it look like he's walking on something. And then I think I'll color it in this color. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna color it like black in the background, but I'm gonna use a crayon because if I color it in with a, a marker, it's just gonna be so dark, right? So I'm going to use this dark one here to make a little edge along my, you can see the difference here. Alright, so I finished those and I'm going to find, where's my, my box of, I put all of my, my paperless crayons in a different one, so I have black here in this bag. I even have a, oh, I'm gonna use a little one though. Yep. So, too much stuff over here again, imagine that. And so I'm just gonna use it on the side so it'll be black, but it won't be, it won't take over my picture. I don't wanna color on top of my stars. I kind of want to give my dinosaur spots. I don't know, I just think it would be kind of fun. There. Let's see. I know, uh, Mackenzie, you asked for dog. My dog book should be here. I have a cool dog book coming. So I'm going to do a project. A dog. I got. I actually got a couple of different dog projects. Um, I'm going to do cats soon. Because even though we did cats at school, we haven't done cats here. So. Alright. And I think just what I'm going to do, just because it would be fun, because of our story, is I'm going to write. I'm going to. I'm going to use red. I'm going to use magenta. And I'm down, oops, right here, I'm going to write roar, as if he's saying that. There we go. Shot a little line. So he's saying roar. Awesome. I still want to give him spots. I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to regret it. Um, I kind of want, I'm going to give him green, I kind of want to give him green spots. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm going to ruin it. Do I give him spots? Do I not give him spots? Oh, I can't decide. Oh, I'm going to give him spots because I really, I don't know why, but I, I want to give him spots. Because he looks totally silly now. Maybe he's got 
Maybe I should have made rainbow spots and he could have eaten Skittles. What do they call that when you get... There was that commercial with the Skittles. I can't remember. Some sort of a Skittles disease. Maybe he only ate the green ones. Oh, it's not too bad. Looks like he's got the green measles, though. There. Look at that. <clears throat> I suppose these colors were like in some sort of order, but not anymore. One more. Where's that one go? Oh, there. there. Yeah, I don't know that I like these markers as well. They're probably more expensive, too. I like trying different kinds of markers. See which ones are the best for doing things. This one's probably better. But this one's pretty cute, too, now. Oh, I want to add some lines. Let's see, I'm going to use this color. What's this? Maroon. all the little details. I'm going to draw one of those on there. There we go. That's this color. Okay. I was going to color his eye, but I changed my mind. Alright. There's my dinosaur. Because, well, he's cute. I probably should have drawn some more lava coming down. But, alright. I think that's it. Uh, I haven't decided what I want to do tomorrow. Hmm, I don't know. Um, I have a cool penguin book. The penguin's pretty easy. Excuse me, color. Um, I don't know. I can't decide. I need to think about it. Um, so I'll post here in a little while after I decide. But I haven't gotten... I think my book's coming from Amazon, so I haven't gotten my Amazon box yet. Um... <clears throat> So I might get my dog book today. I don't know. Um, I can give you a sneak peek I, oops, of the dog. It's really cute. Um, I found a new author, which is always bad when I do that. Um, let's see. I'm going to find it. Um, so, but I, I need to make them big. So this is just a rough drawing, but it's a book about, um, um, what are they called? Uh, well, they're joke. There, I mean, we call them wiener dogs. So here we go. There's my little wiener dog. So I have a story about those coming. Um, he's super cute, don't you think? I think he's cute. Oops. And the cool thing is, is they've got all these clothes on. So this one doesn't have any clothes on. Um, there, it's it's a book from by an English author from England. Um, <clears throat> and um, he dresses them up in all these these cool costumes and stuff. And, um, um, he's also the one I got the dinosaur from was this guy. So I have a couple of his books coming cause I hadn't, I hadn't read them. So, um, I like found all these cool new, um, authors that I loved it. I love finding a new author so that I can share the books with you guys. Um, <clears throat> um, and then, and then we're going to do a moose at some point cause I have a cool moose story. Um, and then... Um, look, I've got a book. I just have to say, I have like a huge pile of books. Um, I could, I have like, once I chose this book for the dinosaur book, then when I was looking for something else, I found like three or four other great dinosaur books. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's hard to choose. I have a hard time choosing. Um, and then next week with Easter, <coughs> I'll only be on here Monday through Thursday. Um, and then I won't be here on Friday cause it's good Friday. So, um, um, and then I'm hoping I'm going to try it out today or tomorrow. Um, I have a recipe for some air dry clay and I'd really like to make like a little bunny figure with you guys on Monday. So I'm hoping, and you could use Play-Doh. The nice thing is about the air dry clay is that you can let it dry and then we could paint it 
and then you can keep it. Um, and so I'm hoping to do that on Monday. Um, and then if you guys don't have the clay, um, I'll have a picture of a bunny out so you guys can draw that too. Um, if you'd rather draw than to do that. But um, So I'm hoping to do that. So we'll see. I haven't tried it, um, how, making it yet. So, But I'll post the picture and the recipe. And if you guys want to, if I have enough people who want to, then um, we will do that. Um, and so I think that's all. So it's kind of short today. Um, <clears throat> our story was super short. And then I'll move my dog. Hopefully, Mackenzie, you like the dog. I think he's cute. Um, um, I have another dog, too, but I just was learning to draw this one the other day. So, um, I think I'll pray, and then we can go and go hang outside where it's nice today. So, <laughs> alrighty, let's pray. Oh, Father God, you are an amazing and awesome God, and we are so thankful that we are your children. Lord, I ask you to bless um, all of the people at Cornerstone who are involved in Cornerstone in some way or another, parents and, and teachers and staff and the administration and um, grandparents and all the way back, cousins and uncles and nephews and everybody, just everybody in some way that's involved with Cornerstone. But then I ask that you bless and take care of all the other people in the world too. Lord, I ask that you um, help them to open their hearts so that they know you. Um, Lord, <clears throat> I ask that, whew, I ask for healing on my throat, on my voice, so that it could come back strong. Um, I ask for anybody else who needs healing, and there are thousands and thousands of people in the world who need healing right now, Lord, and I ask that you you give them that, that you, that you um, cause a miracle, Lord, and heal our world. Um, so that we might all know you, so that we could be kind and and loving and and just joyful in knowing that you are our Savior. So, um, I don't know, um, just thank you. Thank you for what you give to us. Thank you for your blessings. Um, and thank you for guiding us down this path of this unknown. Um, so, Lord, just... Keep us, help us to keep close to you so that we um, stay in your word and um, um, realize that this is all just temporary and that, I don't, I'm at a loss for words at the moment, God, I'm sorry. I know that you know what's on my heart. I know that you know what's on the heart of others. And Lord, I just, I just thank you. And I'm grateful and I, I, I think that's it. I'm just going to ask for all of this in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. And everybody said, Amen. All right. Well, I think that's it today. Thanks so much for joining me as we do our dinosaurs. And because we know that they're one of God's creatures. <laughs> and so I just thank you um, for joining me. And I will see you again tomorrow. All right. Take care. Bye now.